United States of America, and good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and of course, to the other side of the world, that is our greetings to each and every nation, and of course, Philippines, good evening. Here we are, only the two of us left in the house for today, because everyone is busy, and um, Eunice is sick, they are not able to come over. And uh, our son, Don, and uh, his family went to Manila for an uh, urgent needs of this check-up check and uh, vaccination of the daughter. So we are here once again. We, we are glad to see you with us. Hallelujah. And uh, so we are going to open uh, this uh, activity through singing inviting the Holy Spirit to be with us, of course, to direct us and to enjoy Hallelujah with us as we do everything for the pleasure of our Most High God. And so, Mom and Dad, good, evening, good, good morning to both of you as you would be, uh, uh, watch this uh, video later. Good morning and God bless everyone soon. Maybe the next day it would be a uh, happy Thanksgiving to all Americans. Hallelujah. And my husband is here. And uh, he was born was born on the day of uh, Thanksgiving Day. And so he is the turkey man. <laughs> Hallelujah. We're praying that uh, hope on Sunday on his birthday we could have a good turkey on the table for the first time here in the Philippines that he was with us. So here we are, we're going to to sing before anything else. Amen, my love? Yes. I will be playing the keyboard once again because my son is no longer here for just for this week. Thank you. 
God, we thank you that you always hear us when we pray. You always hear your children when they call out to you in the authority given to us to come boldly before your throne. In the name, the authorization given to us, in the name of Jesus, his authority, to come boldly before your throne, to come before your throne for daily bread, to, to enter into your presence every day. We thank you that I've, we've seen uh, we've seen testimonies, people writing in to brag on Jesus and what He has done for them. I want to thank you, Father God, that. Uh, you protected my father from a, a fall. You protected him. And there was no injury. But that was from the grace of God. We thank you, Father. We give you praise and honor. We thank you, Father, for the protection that you gave to one of your sons. We thank you, Father, that uh, signs and wonders continue to be done as we brag on your Son. We thank you, Father. Open up your word to us today as we come to you and pray and study your word. We thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Tonight, uh, we'll continue the, this uh, prayer meeting online and sharing the Word of God. Afterward, we'll be sharing some more testimonies and prayer requests. So we would be glad if you'll be sending your prayer request on this um, activity. Now, we're not using our smartphone tonight so we can't see you and we can't see you when you come into the room but you can uh, still message us and we will be able to see the messages later right here on this platform yes my love uh, you're going to share the word of God yes uh, if you have your Bible I want to I encourage you to turn to I encourage you to turn to uh, Genesis uh, chapter 38 as as we uh, approach rapidly the holy day season uh, the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said to go through some of the names that you find in the genealogy of Jesus, some of the ancestors. And um, one of those ancestors uh, would be Judah. You'll remember it was prophesied that Messiah would come from the tribe of Judah. In fact, he is known as the Lion of the tribe of Judah. And so we want to uh, uh, follow the inspiration of the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. and read, bring uh, you up to uh, speed on one of the ancestors of Jesus Christ, and that would be Judah. He was one of the patriarchs. He was one of the uh, uh, sons of Israel. But uh, at the time, uh, he was known as uh, son of Jacob. Jacob wrestled with God, and his name was changed to Israel. Mm -hmm. And in the Word of God, in Genesis, when, uh, when Jacob acts like a, a godly man, he is identified as Israel after the change. But when he 
reverts to his old nature, the scripture still identifies him as Jacob. And so Judah is one of the uh, patriarchs, one mm. of the uh, fathers of Israel. And it's uh, in, We're in uh, Genesis 38. Genesis 38. Mm. We're going to start with verse 1. And it came to pass at that time that Judah went down from his brethren, so he separated from his uh, brothers and uh, turned to a certain Adulamite whose name was uh, Hera. And Judah saw there a daughter of a certain Canaanite whose name was Shua. And he took her and went in unto her and she became pregnant. She conceived and uh, bare a son. And he called his name Her. And she conceived again and bare a second son, and she called his name Onan. And yet she conceived uh, and bare a son, and called his name Shelah. And he was at uh, Chizib when she bare him. So, Judah takes a wife and she conceives three sons. And Judah took a wife for Ur, his firstborn, whose name was Tamar. Mm -hmm. So he went out and he arranged a, a marriage for his oldest son. In um, Ber Ur, the firstborn, he was uh, he was wicked in the sight of the Lord, and so the Bible doesn't say how, but Ur came to an untimely death, and the Lord slew him. And Judah said unto Onan, go in to thy brother's wife and marry her and raise up a seed to your brother. Well, Onan was not a very good man either. And uh, he said, uh, that the seed should not be hid, his, and it should come to pass that he, uh, when he went into his uh, brother's wife, that he let the semen fall onto the ground and not into her womb, lest that he should uh, give seed to his uh, his brother. And this thing which he did displeased the Lord because he was being selfish. And uh, wherefore he slew him also. Brothers and sisters, it's a good thing that God does not continue to uh, judge us in the same way that he judged others in the past in many ways he's much more merciful now then said Judah to uh, Tamar his daughter-in-law remain a widow at thy father's house till Sheila my son be grown the third son. For he said, 
Bless per adventure, he die also, as his brothers did. And Tamar went and dwelt in her father's house. And in the process of time, the daughter of Shua, Judah's wife, died. And Judah was comforted and went up to a ship shears in Timnath. And his friend Hira the Adulamite. And it was told, saying, Behold, your father-in-law goes up to Timnath to shear his sheep. And she put on her widow's garment. She took off her widow's garment from off her and covered herself with a, a veil, disguised herself, wrapped herself, and sat in an open place. For she saw that uh, Sheila was grown and she was not given unto him to wife so she saw that uh, Judah had broken his promise he broke the promise and uh, did not keep the covenant as it was made When uh, Judah saw her, he thought her to be a harlot because she had disguised herself. She had changed her appearance. She, uh, she was after what was promised to her. And so uh, she took action she believed to be proper. Because she had covered her face. And um, Judah saw her and uh, he considered her to be hot stuff. He didn't recognize Tamar because she disguised herself. She wore a, a costume. She changed her appearance. So she changed her appearance to, to the point that uh, Judah found her to be very attractive, very alluring. And so he uh, told her, uh, go to, I uh, pray, and let me uh, come to thee. For he knew not that she was his daughter-in-law, because she had changed her appearance. And she said, what will you give me, that thou mayest come? in unto me. And he said, I will send thee a kid from the flock. And she said, Will you give me a pledge or a ring till you send it? And he said, What uh, pledge shall I give thee? And she said, Your ring and thy bracelets and thy staff that is in your hand. And he gave it to her and came in unto her. They had uh, consensual relations with one another. And she conceived by him. 
And she arose and went away, laid uh, by her veil from her, and put on the garments of her widowhood. And Judah sent the kid by the hand of his friend, the Adulamite, to receive his pledge from the woman's hand, but he found her not. Then he asked the men of that place, saying, Where is, where is the harlot that was openly by the wayside? And they said, There was no harlot in this place. And he returned to Judah and said, I cannot find her. And also the men of the place said, There was no harlot in this place. And Judah said, Let her take it to her, lest we be shamed. Behold, I sent this kid, and I found not her. So he intended to keep his, his promise. And it came to pass about three months later that it was told Judah, saying, Tamar, thy daughter-in-law, hath played the harlot. And also, behold, she with is with child by whoredom. And Judah said, Bring her forth and let her be burnt. He was going to punish her. And she was brought forth she went to her father-in-law whose hand these are. I am with child. And she, and she said, I pray thee whose, whose ring is this? Whose bracelets, whose staff do these belong to? Because this man is the father. And Judah recognized the ring and the bracelets and the staff. She has been more righteous than I because that I gave her not to Sheila, my son. And he knew her again no more. And it came to pass in that time of her travail, behold, twins were in her womb. And it came to pass when she travailed that she, that the one put out his hand and the midwife took it and bound upon his hand a scarlet thread saying this came out first and it came to pass as he drew back his hand that behold his brother came out and she said, How hast thou broken forth? This breach be upon thee. Therefore 
His name was called Pharez. And afterward came out his brother that had the scarlet thread upon his hand. And his name was called Zerah. That baby with the scarlet thread, it was an ancestor of Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, people may well try to rob you of things that belong to you. Many of you have uh, promises and you're waiting on the manifestation of the promise. Waiting on that manifestation. And many times things will happen and it may seem that the effort is being made to rob you of your promises. But brothers and sisters, remember this. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, the rulers of the darkness of this world, spiritual wickedness in high places. We know that the Bible shows us that good things come from God. Our God is light and in Him there is no darkness at all. But evil things come from the devil. There is no goodness in the devil. There's only goodness in our Father in Heaven. Every good and perfect gift comes from the Father. But bad things, they come from the devil. Yes, good things come from God, and bad things come from the devil. But as believers in the Lord Jesus Christ, we are human, but He has not given us carnal weapons. He has given us weapons that are mighty through God, through the power of the Holy Ghost, so that we can uh, throw down wrong, uh, strongholds and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of Christ and bring every thought into captivity. Yes, every thought into captivity. We serve a good God and He loves to give good things to His children. He tells us in Luke chapter 11, Our Father in Heaven loves to give good things to His children, even the Holy Ghost to those who ask. So brothers and sisters, this morning as we sing, remember that you too should sing and brag about Jesus. As we prepare for this holy day season, as our brothers and sisters, our Jewish brothers and sisters, they are about to begin their holy day season with the uh, what we now know as Hanukkah or the festival 
of light. And in this time of the festival of lights, commemorating the rededication of the temple, when they stood up to uh, to the Antiochus Epiphanes, who had defiled the temple by slaughtering a pig. There was a rebellion. There was a fight that followed. And after victory was assured, they had defeated the superpower of their time against overwhelming odds. They were victorious. God had given them the victory. And so there was a rededication. They only had one day supply of consecrated oil. But the one supplied what was needed for the entire rededication process. And I find it interesting that in John chapter 10, Jesus Christ, the light of the world, He appeared and He also celebrated and commemorated that event. It's proper for those of us who recognize Jesus Christ as being the light of the world that He chose to honor His brothers and sisters in Judaism. The light of the world there during the festival of light brothers and sisters, the children of God, we should be celebrating with our Jewish brothers and sisters during the Hanukkah celebration. And um, remember to con communicate with us and uh, sing with us.
sisters, I pray for y'all, and I want to remind you that the uh, unction of the anointing has been fulfilled every day for the almost 2,000 years. Signs and wonders continue to follow, 
and the most consistent one is the unction of the anointing. Whatever your sickness, whatever your disease, this also includes any of you, uh, depression can also, can also include financial depression too. We thank you, Lord, that uh, we pray and your anointing your go goes forth and we thank you Lord that uh, you are omnipotent you have all power and you are omnipresent if people can sense your presence we know Jesus tells us many times may it be done in accordance with your faith so let's believe he says father in your word is there any sick among you let them pray lord those that are merry let them sing songs is there sick among you? There are some who are sick among us. Let them call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. If you have oil, anoint yourself with oil. Uh, if there's no one else to do that for you, in the name of the Lord, that means in his authority. You remember, he says, I have given you authority, power over snakes and scorpions and over all of the power of the enemy. You have authority. And um, let him call for the elders of the sick, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord and the prayer of faith shall see, save the sick. Remember, it's the now faith. The now faith. Uh, prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if they have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Don't pretend to be something you're not. All of sin and come short of the glory of God. Uh, yes, He has the power to heal, but He also forgives sins. Uh, and um, says, confess your faults one to another. Don't pretend to be perfect. Don't pretend to be something you're not. Admit your shortcomings. Uh, you are the one. You are the letter known and read by all who know you. And they'll say, wow. The Lord used them even though they were not perfect in their life. Even with this flaw or that flaw, the Lord still chose to use them. If the Lord will use them maybe he will use me too and he will if you allow him to he says that the uh, effectual fervent prayer of a righteous availeth much you the bible tells us the eyes of the lord go to and fro to the left and to the right throughout the whole earth he sees the good and the evil, but he also sees the hearts. He's looking for hearts that are perfect toward him, and they can be in the name of Jesus, uh, who are willing to allow him to move mightily for your benefit. Are you willing to allow the Lord to say, 
Father, make my heart perfect toward You. I need Your will to be done. I need Your kingdom to come in my life. Let it be done today. Let it be done today. Yes, He's looking for people who are willing to allow Him to show Himself strong for your benefit. I can use that today. How many of you will say, Father God, I need for you to show yourself mighty on my benefit today. We're told to pray every day that your kingdom come in my life and your will be done in my life today just like it is in heaven. We thank you, Father, that you always hear us when we pray. We come to you in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, we pray. Amen. Our time is about gone, so we want to take this opportunity to uh, come visit with us tomorrow night in about uh, 23 hours perhaps. And so to you, wherever you happen to be, uh, Dios living day get may God bless you. We'll see you uh, in about uh, 23 hours. So hasta mañana. See you tomorrow. And uh, uh, wherever you go, uh, via con Dios, may God be with you. Hello to all of our friends. Our uh, smartphone is down, so we can't identify you, but you know who you are. Thank you for sending your uh, part because you help to pay our bills. We thank you in advance and uh, see you tomorrow, God willing.